Welcome to day three of making our yard a beautiful dream. Well, no, actually our garden. We're gonna make our garden today. We're gonna finish, we're gonna start tilling today. We're gonna start cleaning up like this area. We have a bunch of like junk laying around and you know, in New York, we need our snow blowers <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah, we got this one for nothing. It's one of those old beasts that just runs and runs, but I think we're gonna move that to another area and just clean out all this garbage, right? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna clean out all this gar garbage, toss a bunch of stuff. And then what the what do you think where we're gonna start tilling? What do you think that's the, I think, the best spot? I think the best spot is like we're gonna start from over here somewhere, like from the end of the stairs all the way over. And then what we'll do is we're gonna compact down that ground mm -hmm. and put down our gravel on top of that black fabric, I think. Yes, um, what about the sod? What do you think of where, where are we gonna put the sod? Oh, so the only thing is the sod might be an hour away to get it, if we can even get it, but there's actually another idea. We can either spray in this green grass or we can already buy rolled grass seed rolls and they're they're pretty, I think, equally priced and you can spray them down. So I think we'll be fine when we get to that. If we have to, we'll go old school, grass seed and straw. No. All right. All right. side that's the culprit all this shale New York shale Bogdan just finished this whole tilling thing. I mean, how did you? How do you feel about no, I'm it? I'm pretty tired, but this was probably the hardest area. I didn't yeah. know what would be under there, like rock-wise, and wasn't too bad. Like we but look at the soil. Look at the beautiful soil. That's what I was worried about. The soil was going to be super rocky. I mean, there are a few huge rocks like yeah, right this here. that kept getting stuck in the tiller, but we just banged them right out. But I'm just so excited for this more our garden now because of the soil and the new grass and i think that this only took about an, not even an hour i'd say yeah. i rented the tiller for a whole day because i was like oh, i was gonna take me forever i might even go through one more time yeah. um and then i think we're gonna start cleaning it up and grading it
since we tilled our yard, graded this only this section of the yard. And then that section we did not grade because that's where we're gonna be digging down for to build in our garden um, enclosure. Yeah, and then pretty much we're gonna take soil from there. We're gonna, I think, build out a little more than we need. Yeah. And we can um, level it, you know. Yeah, I, I think we actually need a little bit more, right, space. I feel like we, Yeah, I think so. Pretty much our enclosure is supposed to be like 16 and yeah. a half feet by 10 and a half feet, which is sort of like a weird measurement, yeah. but we're gonna figure it out. I'm just really excited to get this area right here, put some new grass seed in, and also, the, luckily, the last two days, it's been raining, so we can actually see where we need to fill in. There's like little um, dips. This yard right here was a little bit more on level, so we had to level it out. So cool thing is we're gonna add in more soil, start digging out our little, where our garden area is gonna be and just get things rolling today. Let's go. Guys, we are all done building that or digging down into that two inch layer right here. Just wanted to show you guys. Next, what we have left is we're gonna sort of tamp through and do just like an initial tamping. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. So you get sort of an idea of how it looks. And then what we're gonna do is start filling in the spots that aren't level or that are sort of like bumpy and stuff. And from there, what we'll be able to do is once we have that final stamping done, we're gonna put down our material, frame out our entire uh, border, which we got these like lumber, uh, sort of, I think it's called landscaping lumber. That's what it's called. And it's pressure treated ground contact so it can be in direct contact with the ground. So from there, what we'll be able to do is start putting our gravel in hopefully today. If we don't today, we're gonna do in the next video, but let's go ahead and get tamping. I just did it. Yeah. Well, you helped a little bit. That was pretty crazy. You had Ollie um, there and stuff. Yeah, I did it for like a few minutes and my hand was like tweaking out. I literally don't know how people do this by hand. Um, but we stamped this whole place out and we're ready for the next steps. Well, we're actually going to wait a little bit so the sun comes over and just dries it out and we can actually come in and just stamp it one more time because some spots are actually like super mushy still. Actually, the stamper keeps getting mud all over it and it keeps getting stuck. So I think we need this just a little drier. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's almost sort of like clay. Yeah. I don't think it's clay, but it's almost like clay. So I think we're gonna go to lunch, yeah. get some good old chicken speedies. That's like a local thing. And then we'll catch you guys after that. ground is not dry enough you guys so we're not gonna finish this today unfortunately we're just gonna wait a few days and let it really really dry out so we can like 
continue doing the stamping because our hands are not going to handle it. Yeah, and I think what we got left is we're just going to clean all the tools because what happened is this sort of like clay dirt got stuck to a lot of them. So we want to clean yeah. them off, make sure they're not rusting away. And then we're going to come back at it. We're going to use that soil, grade all this and get it fixed. Mm -hmm. 